Thanks for coming over, Damien. That's it's right. good to be out again. Just a few hours later, Damien from Kitchen Connection arrives at Stephen and Ruth's house for the design appointment. So before we start, I uh, just want to establish sort of what you want to improve out of the kitchen. More beam space, more cupboard space. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, there's hardly any bench space and yeah. it's just really cramped. It's not functional. Like two people can't be in the kitchen doing something at the same time. I guess it's about working out what they don't like about their current kitchen. In this case, they, they liked more bench space, so that was my key focus, I suppose. Keeping the storage, not losing any storage, but also increasing the bench space if we can. So we, we decided to bring the, the wall out to, to achieve that. We had some preconceived ideas about how we could change some things around and he realised pretty quickly that that idea wasn't going to work. He came up with some alternatives and we were able to talk through that. It's all about having a multi-person kitchen. Yeah. Being able to have more than more than one person in the kitchen at the same time, yeah. Yeah. and you all focus together. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be, be great. great. So the design software lets me go through different pricing, so the customer can get a comparison basically on what different things cost. What do you like in the kitchen that you you want to keep? Uh, probably the dishwasher. <laughs> yes, that is an important thing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you want a cooktop and uh, yeah. And pantry. Uh, how, how's the pantry storage? Because it's built into a corner. Yeah. It's really difficult to get in. So okay. we we do want more pantry space. Okay. No worries. I've got a few ideas about that. Okay. When someone's designing a kitchen, they should think about how they use their kitchen, where they cook, where they clean. Where it clutters, uh, if there's congested areas, and how how they think they can improve with that. One of the things I really appreciated about Damien coming and doing the design appointment was he really kind of knew what he was doing, but he just helped us really establish the goals that we wanted with the new kitchen. Went for um, went for about three to four hours, I think. It feels like a long time in the moment, but it's important because you need to be really thorough to establish what you're doing. After meeting with the builder, Stephen and Ruth take some time to think about the layout. In the end, they decide extending the wall would detract from the flow. So they ask Damien to come back out and alter the original design concept. Taking your feedback and Wayne's feedback, we'd like to look at actually knocking that wall out. What do you think we can do with the space if that wall isn't there? A lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to open up a lot. So you're okay in going into the, the dining space? Oh, absolutely. We can take as yeah. much of that room yeah. as we need to. We, we've got to be careful not to take too much of the room. And then later on, they decided to remove the wall and actually use the room next door, uh, which helped a lot. We're going to knock out a wall, uh, extend the kitchen into this area here, build another wall here, and then the TV room is going to be down the other end. Obviously, the big, big difference is taking that wall out. Yeah, and that island is just going to be... Yeah. I mean, that's doubled the amount of functional Correct. space we've got yeah. now. What do we do with all the trades? That all can be coordinated by Kitchen Connection. Uh, so you still pay the tradesman direct, but we can coordinate it and make sure everything flows really well. With the new design finalised, the project is green lit and ready to begin.